Hello racers and welcome to a new episode of the Daily Races with your host Silver Grey Racer and today we are at the Nürburgring seeing how many times we can get rammed unfortunately on Gran Turismo as a derated driver it's going to happen a lot ok so we are going to speed up this part of the race I'm going to speed up the parts where nothing really much happens although I am going to get cap tapped a couple of times here while we're speeding up but don't worry about that now I didn't set a qualification time there's the first ram there those two number 8 and number 10 are the biggest rammers here ok I didn't set a qualification time I should have rammed him off there it would have made my life so much easier there um, and again he's slowing down to, to cut me off there uh, going back to not setting a qualification time it means you're behind all the, the dross of the day now I think that yellow car was just a natural coming together there I think it was his natural momentum after the, the rammer at number 7 just um, rammed him knocked him off and I think he was just coming back onto the track naturally I don't think it was anything more than that but this number 7 is a real pain in the ass. as he goes wide here I follow him like a lemming <laughs> straight off the end of the cliff there and driving off the track you'll see that quite a lot in Gran Turismo especially around the first turn at Suzuka that's always a good one it's always worth a laugh at Suzuka ok anyway going back to not setting the qualification lap it really causes you problem when you're as unskilled as I am and learning the ropes and there he goes slowing right down now he gets reset there which is good but it gives me a three second penalty now because I'm in six now I'm four seconds behind fifth place I would have been struggling to catch him to be honest with you but as it's the end of the first lap there I do believe I did have a better chance of catching him but that penalty there has just wiped me out completely um, as you can see I'm speeding it up again the one thing you can see when you speed it up is how jerky I am on the controller you know I, I use a dual shock controller I don't actually use a steering wheel that is one of the things I would like to get on the PlayStation 5 when it comes out now I am hoping that Gran Turismo doesn't do a Forza and puts out a terrible game for the PlayStation 5 as you can see that penalty there has cost me what two places and there's a rammer there there's two rammers behind me and he gets whacked there now that Portuguese fella I didn't race him so he wasn't a rammer so he, it's this number nine and then the number there you go the number ten car now they're the two rammers if you watch them they start to work in tandem here which is a bit crazy considering they start blocking the road off <laughs> what's funny about that is there's only 12 cars and then nine and ten but they need to succeed in pissing me off though you know I mean, this is the problem when you don't set a qualification lap you, 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 you're stuck behind these trouble is if you do set a qualification lap and you're in the middle of them they whack you off in the first corner they take no prisoners they don't care about what they're doing they just want to have their own fun and sort everyone else as you can see there that slow lap there was 217 okay that's always the worst lap now the first lap is now as you can see there he got reset now and I think he went right to go back and get that driver that got reset there too so but that's the cynic in me okay as you can see there I think he cut across there to have a little nudge at me there but he couldn't do it in time I was too slow for him okay as you can see there my second lap there is 219 which is even slower than my first one which would have put me down to about in fairness to about 215 216 anyway so with the, with the penalty and that so it's that's it's not good but we're on the last lap here so we're speeding it up it just the action really starts at the last few turns we slow it down here okay what's going to happen here is as you can see him he's slowing down too much there and he's just trying to cut me off and i just thought i'm having none of that and just nudged him out the way gently as you can see i didn't get a penalty i didn't get a drop in sr so so i didn't do anything wrong there that's the way i'm looking at it but i really take that corner badly I, I think I got the better of him but coming down now it, into the Michelin curbs it, I leave the, the door open here for him not to ram me off but it, the problem is with what you've got to realise with Gran Turismo you get nothing for being last in this game you, you have to get into the top 5 to win the points I'm not getting in them so I'm still down at the bottom and that's my biggest problem ok as we're coming up here now to the um, to the NGK 
chicane oh, that is really sponsored isn't it as you can see there he's slowing down there and he's gone off the track and he's trying to take me out one last time but that's not really the last time he's gonna try again as we cut the corner here there he goes a little nudge there <laughs> oh well as you can see that is my fastest lap at two minutes ten as i didn't set a qualification lap but when i do practice i did a 109 a 109 sorry a 209179 okay so i i'm just a second and a half over my fastest lap there on the practice now the big problem is there's a difference between the arcade version that you on the time trial version and the race conditions they're totally different so you're normally i work out i'm normally about four seconds slower on the race than i am doing the time trial so to finish in any but you see the more you play the better you get and that's what i'm doing now i'm playing more i'm getting better as we start the um the second race here as you can see i'm i went down the last there and this isn't a bad corner there's no real carnage there but it the carnage comes later and we'll meet the duncanator <laughs> he's like the <laughs> he's like the terminator that's soft and cuddly <laughs> Who <laughs> honestly? <laughs> and when you go to a party, what's your name? Just call me the Duncanator. <laughs> we'll get to see you at the last year. Okay, as you can see, this all 007 now. I don't think he really is 007, okay? I just think he's got a stupid name. Anyway, says the Silver Grey Racer. Anyway, um, as you can see, the number 8 got a touch fed up of him already. And just went, I'm having none of that. <laughs> and that's a lesson I've learned. But I do think he went off there to give him some afters. <laughs> so, but it doesn't involve us at the moment. As you can see now, I've sped it up again because I'm just putting in a solid lap now. But as you can see how jerky I am around that, around the chicane there. That is, you can see as I run smooth I am on the controller. It's a lot harder, easy when you're on the steering wheel apparently, but. The inexperience I've got means I'm really jerky, as you can see that, yeah, that's a lot better curve turn there. This part of the track is not bad for me coming up from the from the Dunlop, the Ford and the Mercedes arena. Those corners there I'm very good at and coming down to the Dunlop curve here, this is where I really do make up time. Okay, but as you can still see, you see coming down here now to the Michelin curves, it's these are the ones that really get me coming down now and, and as we go past the the advent bogdan oh no i, I know i've pronounced that right and we go into the chicane here around the coca cola curve now i do find the coca cola curve there a little bit tricky sometimes okay here we go on the last lap now right we're speeding it up now that was a two minute 11 lap there which is not far off my fastest time just a second of my fastest time there so as you can see i am slowly getting better at this okay as we come in now you can see what's going to happen near around the full curve and that costs me the race i think that would have been my best result fifth there as you can see i just didn't get that full curve right at all and it's cost me dear as you can see that yeah now i do think that yellow car there he's pissed off because everyone's rammed him too to be fair to him as we're coming down that we've gone through the schumacher races now as we come through the Michelin curves here it's, it's not too bad and you can see the, the dunkinator in front of us and you can see what he does now on the last lap as we slow down there he goes really to i should have just bashed him should have just bashed him there and see that's cost me seventh place there now but by slowing by not hitting him it's cost me seventh place i wouldn't probably wouldn't have got seventh place if i did hit him but that's the kind of stuff you have to look for in gran turismo it, it you know there's not much they can do because you pay your money you play the game just like me and there you go there that, that last lap was two minutes 16 because of the penalty there and thanks to the Duncanator. <laughs> oh, I like that name, the Duncanator. Okay, well, as that's the end of... I went up one place there. I believe I went up one place, or three places, was it? I think it was three places, or was it one? Here we go. It will soon tell us now. There we go, one place.
Okay, that really doesn't give you any points on Gran Turismo, and that's my problem. You really need to be up into the top five and getting a podium finish. It's something I need to start doing or I'm going to be stuck here for the rest of my life. And we come to the third race here now. As you can see, I started obviously length. We're going to speed it up here. Now, normally it's the first corner of carnage around here, but that wasn't too bad. Okay, we've got a couple of bumps there. I think they're just racing Cummings together. But you see that blue car behind me? That's going to cause us a problem too now. Okay, as we get, we get whacked going around there, around the full curve there. Coming in into the Dunlop corner. Now, at that point, I wasn't taking any prisoners, so I just went, away you go. Okay, now as we come down there through the uh, Michigan curves here, down towards the final chicane, this is where it gets a bit ropey for me. It's slowed down too much. But that was a lot smoother. You can tell it's a lot smoother when it's faster. It looks a lot better. Okay. So on, we're on the second lap now. As we slow down at this corner, you can see that that number six is a dirty round or two. As you can see, now that was the blue car trying to nudge me earlier. So E is a dirty round or two. And he will try and knock me off too. He's going to slow yeah, and just generally be a pain in the ass. Okay, as we get a purple sector, but everyone gets a purple sector on the second lap. Okay, because you can't be slower than the first lap except for me. As you can see now, number seven is beginning just to slow me down a bit here. But I think he's got more eyes on for six and five, to be honest with you. He wants to knock them off. Okay, as we just keep ticking on with a consistent lap here, as you can see, we... We went down again as we slow down right here. He slows down too much. But fair play to him. He could have gone quite off easy and ruined my race. But there you go. He's not in that. Now, nah, number seven deserves it, to be honest with you. Was it the green owl? What a knob he is. <laughs> Did you see that? He, he crashed off the barrier, hit me, and that's what saved him from going off the track there. That would have killed his race too. Um, as we start the last lap here, you'll see the green owl there just just caused me no end of problems as they tried to sandwich me there he, he gets whacked off and there's the obligatory oh there's the obligatory penalty and the downgrade of the sr now the, the green owl is going to try it too okay but really this i mean this is my blood's beginning to boil at this time you, 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 again it's the penalty of not setting a good qualification lap if i had been third or fourth in this race i probably would have been there but I'm not really getting there on a, on a lap time of 2 minutes 10, 2 minutes 11 you know I'm simply not going to be high enough to, to make any points but as it was my second week I just wanted to see it, it, how well I could do against the others so it was a combination of just checking to see how well I would do against the others and did it make a difference and it really does make a difference setting a good qualifying lap I would always recommend it now as we come around the Dunlop curve for the last time here in the last race okay and we are coming up to the um the Michelin curves okay it's hard to see on the small screen when you're editing a video like this okay here we go now we're, we're just ticking along behind them we're hoping that we, we can get a good ninth now it's all, it's all we can do if we can keep close to the blue car we will take eighth place from him because of the penalty because he can't serve it before the end we will overtake him the penalty we rounded up and we will overtake him as long as we're within the uh, second of that penalty okay as we come up to the she came for the final time it, it, they really did slow down there to try and catch me didn't they as you can see the green now I, I think he's He's gone wide there, I think, to come and try and come back and, and trying to get me, but the problem was I was too slow for him. And here we're coming up to the finish line now. There we go, a 2 minute 14. So that might have been my fastest lap if I didn't have that 3 second penalty, and that's the end of the race. Now, this is the end of this episode. Now, if you did like this format, give me a, a thumbs up and a comment and if you did like what you watched here please think about subscribing and hitting the notification bell because it really does help me to get my videos out to a far wider audience if you if you do like them and leave a comment thank you so 
as I said, this brings us nicely to the end of this episode, and all that leaves me to say is thank you for watching, goodbye, and I will see you on the next lap.